So, still now we studied about DC circuits. Now, I will give the introduction to the AC circuits. AC means alternating current. So, in this we have a representation of sinusoidal waveforms. The EMF equation or a voltage equation can be written as V max sin theta or V max sin of omega t or V max sin of 2 pi by t into t. Where omega is angular frequency that is in radians per second and the peak value and RMS value, peak is the maximum value of an alternating quantity. The maximum value of an alternating is called, quantity is called the peak value. Let us say this is current versus omega t and the I maximum is the peak value. And RMS value is root mean square. Generally, the AC is measured in RMS value. And this is very important as per exam point of view, uh, in the most of the previous papers it is repeated, phasor representation of an alternating quantity is asking for 8 marks. And after that real power, so P is called the real power, and the reactive power is represented with Q, and the apparent power or complex power can be represented with S, and the power factor is cos phi, and the analysis of AC circuits consisting of R, L, C means consisting of pure resistor, pure inductor, pure capacitor and RL series circuit, RC series circuit or RLC combinations so, and uh, we can go for the RL parallel circuit uh, and uh, RC parallel circuit and uh, RLC parallel circuits also and the most important uh, topic uh, is also one more topic is called the uh, resonance from this you may get 15 marks or 8 marks uh, compulsory and we can expect the questions uh, and a resonance topic uh, and uh, three phase balanced circuits and uh, three phase balanced circuits uh, uh, means we are going for the two connections one is a star connection and uh, delta connection in this uh, we will derive the the old the relationship between the voltages uh, and uh, currents the relationship between the voltage and currents and before this uh, topic discussion we are differentiating our difference between what is the difference between the DC and AC system why we are going for the AC system and DC I square our losses are more and in AC what will happen we can go for the step up and step down the voltages if you are going for the step up voltage and the current will be decreases I square our losses uh, are decreases Anyway, in an AC also we are having uh, some losses uh, uh, due to skin effect uh, and proximity effect. Uh, some effects are there. And these are the disadvantages of the AC. Uh, who invented DC? Means, uh, Thomas Alva Edison invented the bulb uh, in DC and Nikola Tesla is invented AC. And generally, uh, in our uh, homes, uh, we are using uh, induction motors. All the home appliances and agriculture fields are industrial fields we are using uh, uh, means uh, three phase and single phase. So 90% of the industries are used in induction motors only which is rugged construction and maintenance, uh, low maintenance are required. But coming to the DC, we are having a DC series motors and DC shunt motors and regular maintenance are required, braces uh, we have to replace that. The main intention is I square our losses will be more. If the losses will be more, the efficiency value is decreases. And some fundamentals are required in order to study the AC circuits. What is an AC and DC and uh, why we are preferring the sinusoidal waveforms and uh, the representation of the sinusoidal waveform is e is equal to V max sin omega t, V max sin omega t or V max sin of 2 by t into t where theta is replaced with omega t or omega is called the angular frequency and while we are going for the analysis of sing, uh, single phase AC circuit consisting of R L C single phase AC is given to R L C elements we will derive the voltage equation and uh, current equation current equation voltage equation and current equation 
and uh, instantaneous power instantaneous power after that wave forms wave forms and the average power for all these three we have to derive if a single phase ac supply if a single phase ac supply is given to rl series circuit rc series circuit and rlc series circuit this is for the series combination we can for all these three we can go for the voltage triangle and uh, currents we are representing in a phase r and voltage triangle and uh, after that uh, impedance triangle and uh, power triangle and instantaneous power after that wave forms wave forms and the average power so while we are uh, drawing the power triangle we can define the real power and uh, reactive power and apparent power from the power triangle and the power factor can be it can also be defined from the power triangle as well as the impedance triangle if you are going uh, or if you are going for the single phase ac supply is given to rl parallel combination and rc parallel combination and uh, rlc parallel combination for this uh, we can go for the current triangle after that admittance triangle after that power triangle and then instantaneous power wave forms and uh, wave forms and after that uh, average power so this is uh, from this single base uh, ac supply is given to rlc series circuit we can define the series resonance concept uh, in one of the condition in a series resonance xl is equal to xc so we can expect the question in jnth examination most of the universities uh, they are concentrated on wave forms and phase r representation and resonance in uh, series circuits and three phase balanced circuits and analysis of uh, simple circuits uh, using rl uh, uh, series is concentrated in rl and rc circuits and this is about the second unit Thank you.